What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's Blitz of the Day, we're going to focus on how to get the same pressure. Actually, we're going to focus on how to get right edge pressure out of the look that we showed you yesterday. So yesterday, we went over this. Uh, yesterday, we used the three qu crash switch. We showed you how to get pressure off the left edge. Today, we're going to use the same play uh, and the same look, and we're going to show you how to get it off the right edge. So uh, what we're going to do if we're going to get it off the right edge is we're just going to base a line. We're going to shift our linebackers to the right. We're going to globally re-blitz our right of screen outside linebacker. And then what I like to do is I'll just take Robinson and put him in any zone I want. And we should get right edge pressure. And there you see it comes in very clean there. Uh, and that's what I love about this. Uh, I really like the right edge a little bit better than the left just because of the speed at which you can set it up. Uh, so once again, we're looking at this. Uh, pretty simple. I mean, just one, like two steps, base align, shift your linebackers to the right, re-blitz the dude, but you can do it with your... Uh, what you can do with your strategy pad quick links on and uh, you just get that right edge pressure it's really really simple uh, but it's really effective and so if we combine that with the left edge pressure that allows us to get two ways so we'll just re-blitz the linebacker here on the right slide Robinson in and now you see we got two guys coming free why is it important to get two guys free at the quarterback well if your opponent blocks a running back this is going to now still allow the pressure to come free and we're only sitting six guys which is uh advance uh advantage us in coverage so we'll start playing a little more aggressive on the outsides you know maybe put them in, in uh, hook zones and i actually have a secret on those hook zones i'm going to talk about uh in, in a video later on this week uh but you see there you see that we blocked the running back even though we blocked him still going to get that left edge pressure so i really like this play um this was actually uh this in the free safety middle three are the two main plays i ran out of this 335 uh, as far as pressure goes just because it's so simple to set up very little adjustments and very good coverages out of all of them so be sure to add this uh, play to your formation if you're working with the nickel 335 or you just want to try out the nickel 335 I highly recommend it it's a great formation uh, and then coming up in our in our final blitz of the day out of this I think I have one or two more pressures I can show you um, we're going to show you a really good man blitz out of it. So thanks for watching today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to check out some of the rest of the Scheme of the Week content and daily content on the YouTube channel. And also be sure to, uh, if you could retweet this or share it on Twitter, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 tips, tricks, and tactics. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.